he left us an example of how we should be. In the book of Acts, we see not only a lot of work being done, but a lot of opposition as well. It's not going to be easy. Now, thank God that salvation is easy. Thank God that he loves us, that, that he gave his only begotten son to die on the cross, to pay for all of our sins, you know, paid 100% and offers our salvation as a free gift. We don't have to go out and do work and try to convert people to Jesus and do all this other stuff in order to be saved. He's just giving us that free gift. He's saying, this is bought and paid for already and I want you to have it because I love you. That's the gospel news. That's the good news that God loves you. He wants you to be saved. And all you have to do is put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. And he will save your soul and give you eternal life as a free gift. No works involved at all. But after that, after that moment, you still have the rest of your life to live out. Now, that's the moment a person is born again. You become a child of God. You are born into God's family. You need to learn instruction. Get what God wants you to do. Read the Bible. Hear from Him the same way that a child needs to hear from their parents and be instructed on what they need to do. We need to listen to what God has to do and then do it. I mean, if you're, if you're thankful for your salvation today, if you, if you really care about the fact that God has saved your soul, for those of you that have put your trust in Jesus Christ, why don't you show it? Let's not put God up on a shelf or just put our Christianity, our belief just, just over here and we're just going to show up to church and then that's good enough. I mean, like, what is that? Is that really, you know... God the Father was able to give a sacrifice of His only begotten Son for you. And, you know, some people act like it's such a big deal that you've taken one or two hours out of your week to just show up to church and to hear somebody else teach you from the Bible. That's not good enough. Now, it doesn't mean you're unsaved. It's not going to have an impact on your salvation, but... If I were God, I wouldn't be very happy with my, with my son or my daughter, or my child, just showing me that level of respect when I've done everything for them and given them everything, given them eternal life, forgiven them of their sins. And all they can do is just muster up an hour or two of their time to just show their face somewhere where other people are doing the work for them. Jesus Christ, when he came to this world, he came here, he said, I came not to... Uh, be ministered unto, but to minister. He came to do the work of a servant. He came to serve other people. He didn't come to be served. He's coming back. He's going to rule and reign, and he will be the king, and people will be serving him. That is coming. But when he came here the first time, when he came to die for our sins, he also came to leave us an example. And that's why he washed his disciples' feet. He came and took on the most humble jobs. To show us, hey, you're, if Jesus Christ can do these things, then you can do these things. If Jesus Christ isn't too good to get his hands dirty, to do work, to work day in and day out, then you're not either. Nobody is above doing the work that God has called for all of us to do. And this is a church that you may feel uncomfortable from time to time. This isn't just a place where you're going to get a pat on the back every week and just say, everything you're doing is just fine. Just keep on doing what you're doing and never hear anything negative, never hear anything wrong because that's not how the Bible's laid out. We're going to preach the Bible. We're all sinners. But here's the thing. If you love God, you're going to want to try to get right with him. And the purpose of our preaching here and the purpose of coming here is to try to... to edify one another and to provoke one another unto love and to good works. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 10, we're here to provoke one another to love and to good works. We want to do what's right. We want to do what's good.